Alright guys, so I could throw together a video if I woke up early enough, and as is tradition, playing Freya, because Freya's easy mode. Alright, um, the only main change I made was I took out Thor and included Crippling Curse. Don't want seeds in the opening hand. I'm against a Zeus, so Surge is actually pretty strong. But I don't think I keep it if I don't have another drop. And Crippling Curse is great, but not early. And Charge is great, but again, not early. So time to mulligan everything. We get we got a turn one Soul. We also have Hunter Sigil, and we did draw the Charge as well, which isn't bad. Um, playing a one mana Calder with Scotty on the board and then charging it <laughs> tends to be pretty effective. Up against Pepe Cab G. Sounds like a wonderful human being. Let me just make sure my deck list is visible as intended. Looks like it is. I'm using uh, Yukai's Uke. I, I I don't know how to say the man's name, but I'm using his uh, wonderful website that's made for deck building. It's um it's a pretty nice website. You should check it out if you have time or if you're interested in the game. Uh, it does have a search bar on it, which is also pretty nice. For me, it's letting me um, record the website here. It's over here. Record the website so I don't have to save pictures of my decks. On my hard drive, I can just record the website after building it. This guy might be AFK. I don't recognize his name from the Discord or I'd send a message in there. Um, regardless though, one, two, one, two, three, four, so I can spawn them in these four locations. And I'd rather spawn it high because I have more, more maneuverability. One, two, one, two, three, four. You can't target either of those locations. Nope. <laughs> oh right, there's only two. I'm trying to spawn three of them and it's early. It's real early. The real question is, do I move my Freya up? I think the answer is yes. And I'm going to do it over here. And I can one, two, three. And I can spawn a unit here on his stone. Or I can one, two, three, and then move it here, and then one, two, three is still within range of the soul. Or indeed the Scotty, if I choose to charge the Scotty. Now this gains attack. No, it gains health. So it could be tricky to deal with, but I do have that crippling curse. Um, so I can kill it whenever I want to. And it's well without a range at this point. So no reason for me to kill it just yet. I'll wait until it gets closer and he's expended some resources in it. Normally, if this were like Hearthstone or whatever, I wouldn't wait for them to expend resources. I would just remove it. Um, but of course, he cannot attack with that creature because it is melee unless he is right next to us. That's a Scion of Doom. I think Scotty is still the correct play. And I'm going to move up. No reason to be spawning Scotty back, I don't think. 
one, two, three, three. Oh wait, one, two, three can attack here, so don't spawn it there. Oh, father, who's the best destroyer of gods? You, you are. are. Yes, yes you, you are. are. Yes, you are. <clears throat> there is an argument for coining Calder, but currently I don't have a turn four play, and Calder charge is pretty potent. Zeus has protect one, so I'm considering just trading these archers in. What is that? That is an awful noise. Since I don't think they're getting in range of the stones and living. So it does make sense. Deal two damage instead of giving Zeus free trades. They had the potential to do more than that, but... Him protecting himself and then they just dying for free is way too easy. Even though going into turn four, he wants to play a Thanatos. Doesn't look like he has it. Or certainly it would have come down already. He's got a Fire Imp, which does remove the Scotty. But it also puts our friend Zeus at 2 HP. What did it heal with? Oh, it never it never took any damage. Oh gosh. Yep. Alright. Um So my initial thought is to scion my soul. Do I remove Zeus at that point? Probably. One, two, three. I don't particularly want to be in the range of that character. One, uh, one, two, three, four. So I can spawn it there. You're moving Freya here. We're gonna spawn the soul here and Scion here because my soul is gonna remove the Zeus and Scion wants to march down there. So don't use the coin. Um, but I don't think the coin is worth spawning Calder in that instance. So again, I don't have any large minions in hand, so there's no reason to coin it out anyway. Let's see what we got here. Hades! Glad I killed Zeus then. It's the typical turn five there. Um, I'm pretty sure that's getting crippling cursed. Which then leaves me with four mana. So Surtur sure looks good. Now how much damage can I push this turn if I crippling curse? Then trade. Move up. Surter here, which means two, two, bang, two, so six. I could push six damage. Yeah, let's let's push some damage here. I changed my mind slightly.
decided to push one less damage, but to have a 1-1 one, one on board. He can kill it, but I'm less worried about that. Chaos Spawn can still deal with that particular unit decently well. And he's going to let me clear it for free. Which is, of course, incredibly, incredibly nice of him. Okay. Um, I'm that, that doesn't count as something I can silence, does it? I don't think so. Well, do I silence that? Or do I silence? Because I, I, I kind of want to figure out... I think regardless... Surter's moving here because that is just too much value. means you are trading. I don't want to trade right now, but needs must. Pushing stone damage at this point, I am top decking. But I do have a decent amount of late game in my deck. Argus. I just really need to, like, if he gets Athena, it's going to be bad. That's going to kill his Scylla if he, if he trades with the Soul. Which is better for him. So he should take that trade, at minimum. If he face tanks, and I'm okay with that, too. Obviously not as good as me autoing, uh, but he's still only got a 1-2 on board. Hey, what do you know? So I somehow want to auto that stone. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a no-brainer. Um... Just as you're killing that. I don't want you to get more card draw. And you're killing Zeus. Hey Zeus. Eh. Get it to Jesus joke. Let's see who comes down here. Oh, Fire Imp. You're so cute. Got real lucky with top decking both souls. Or with getting both souls. As I started with one in my hand. That's not great, but I mean, I could just whoop it. It's happening no matter what. How do I play around Athena here? I think doing this. Of course, we're spawning BDK there. So he's got to do some hard removal here, or I just win. He looked like he didn't draw very well, honestly, because he didn't get any Nemesi, he didn't get any Judgments. Um, and of course the no Athena things is just, like, how do you win a game as Greek without Athena? Um, let's see what, uh, how much, how many goodies I got here. Ranked goodies, plus two. Oh, nice. <laughs> Moving up in the world.